Good morning. Everybody having a good day? I hope so. Well, let's start with the word of prayer and then we can get going. Because remember, I promised you yesterday I was going to introduce you to my new friend, Bartholomew. He's here waiting to say hi. So let's get going, okay? Okay. Um, let's start with prayer and then we can go. Father, thank you for another day and your goodness. Thank you for each one of our kids and the big person helping today. Help us have a good day. Help the kids to be a good friend today. And help, especially their, whoever the big person is, helping them. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, our verses. Let's start with Ecclesiastes 9.10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. H, Exodus 20, 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. I, John 14, 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Is everybody standing up? Everybody ready to sing? Come on, come on, come on. Stand up. Come on, Avi. Stand up. Come on, Steffi. You too. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, said Jesus. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. J. John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, said Jesus. I am the way. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the light, said Jesus. I am the way. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the light for you. Okay. This week's verse is found in Ecclesiastes 4 9. On loyalty. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Okay, two more times. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. One more time. Two are better than one. Because they have a good reward for their labor. Okay, remember we said loyalty means always support your friends, especially in hard times, right? Okay, we said first way we said we can help our we can um, support our friends by helping them. Yesterday we talked about good ways help practice and to study, right? To learn things, right? And if that's why, that's why Peppy comes, Peppy comes to help us in math. <sighs> Some of that stuff can be boring, right? So Peppy comes to help it not to be so boring, right? Okay, another way, um, another way you can help your friends, a friend can help you, is to explain things. Explain. Now, I do not speak Spanish very well. And because of that, I don't speak Spanish unless I absolutely have to. Mr. Mark has to translate for me sometimes. Um, sometimes I have to get somebody else. I need somebody to translate, right? But when I'm teaching, sometimes the children in the class don't understand. And so one of the other little children, one of the other kids, will exp tell their friend, oh, Mr. And they'll explain it all. So the friend understands it, 
right? Because their friend understands what I mean and they, they know it. So they can put it in a way that their friend, not only in Spanish, but they can put it in a way that their friend can understand. Because the way I do it, their friend might not be able to understand. Okay. Kids think differently than big people do. They do. Okay. And I've, I've taught kids for a long, long time. And kids think differently about things. And one of the reasons I'm a good teacher is because I've been around kids for so long, I understand how they think about things, okay? But even so, sometimes I don't quite get it right. So, if you're working with your friend and your friend just doesn't get it, maybe you can help them to find a different way that they understand, something that makes sense to them, right? Be a good friend. Here's another way. Remember yesterday I told you that um, I was going to bring my friend? And I said this one. Friends can encourage you. We talked about that before, right? Encourage, okay? Encourage. Okay. The word encourage, okay, is made two parts. This part and this part. Courage, okay? Courage means... I can do it, and I'm brave, right? You're brave. Bravo. And means to give something. In other words, to encourage somebody means to give somebody courage, okay? They don't feel like they can do it. I can't do that. It's too hard, okay? Encourage means to give the person courage to try it, okay? Now, sometimes I'm discouraged. This means when you're like, Okay, you need help, right? Sometimes I'm discouraged, people are mad at me, things aren't going right, I messed it up, whatever. And one of the ways that I can encourage myself is with happy things. And that is why my classroom always has happy things in it, okay? Um, in the kindergarten classroom, up on the one shelf, there was a frog. You remember Freddy the Frog that sat up there? Maybe you saw him, maybe you didn't even notice. Maybe you don't know. But I put him up there just because he looks like fun, and he looks like he's having a fun time. That's why he's there. I like to put pretty pictures in the kindergarten classroom. There was a picture of Jesus with children. Reminds me that Jesus loves us, even if we're only kids. See what else? And, and remember your pages for um, that you would color each week for your verse papers. I tried to, or in your nacho book, I tried to find fun pictures for your nacho book. Okay, because nacho can be boring. So I had fun pictures for you to color, so you could put the color in there. So when you open it, there's color, not just bleh black and white words. You could put color there and make it happy, and they were fun pictures, right? When I was up in the United States a few weeks ago, I was shopping with a friend of mine. Her name is Miss Vicky. And I saw something really, really cool. And this is what it is. This is Bartholomew. Isn't he cool? He's a pirate teddy bear. Look at them. And he sits over on my shelf over there because he, when I see him, he makes me smile. So when I'm discouraged, I just see Bartholomew over there. And he makes me smile. Look at him. And he's got a friend, too. That's his friend. His friend's name is Crackers. Mm -hmm. Crackers is his, his parrot. Every, every pirate should have a parrot. But do you know what? Bartholomew sing. Bartholomew and Crackers. They sing. Mm -hmm. They do. If you squeeze his hand, look, watch. Watch his mouth.
Yeah, isn't that fun? So he sits over. He sits over um on my shelf to make me smile when I get discouraged. And look at his. See, he's got happy colors. And there's crackers. There's crackers. His friend is real close to him, right? Yep. So there's there's um. So anyway, there's Bartholomew and crackers. But when I saw him sitting in the store all by himself. There were no other fun toys there. It was just it was a store of things that other people had that they didn't want anymore. That's the store he was sitting in. Can you imagine? Can you imagine somebody having somebody a teddy bear like this and not wanting him? I can't imagine. But nobody wanted Bartholomew. How sad. Well, I just had to take Bartholomew home with me because he needed a friend. So now I have a friend, Bartholomew, and his friend, Pat Crackers, because I wanted him. Nobody else wanted him, but I did. Cool, huh? So he encourages me, and I encourage him because I give him hugs. And he's so over in my classroom. He's just waiting for kids to come. Mm -hmm. He is. Um, but anyway, friends, friends, to give a smile. Sometimes it only takes a smile. Do you know there's a store in the United States, and there's some over in Saban. I think there's one in Tegucigalpa. There's one in Tegucigalpa too. It's called Walmart. Okay, Walmart. It's a big store. The ones here on Honduras aren't as big as the United States. But um, at Walmart, they pay somebody, and a lot of stores in the United States do this too. They pay a person to stand right inside the door and to say, hi, how are you today? And to help them get a cart or whatever and say, have a good day. And then when they, you leave the store, they say, have a good day. All that person's job is to do is smile. Hi, how are you today? Have a good day. Hi, how are you today? Have a good day. That's all they do. That's their job. They might help with little things, but that's it. Hi. Yep. All their job is. But you know what Walmart knows and a lot of other stores in the United States know too? That smile. When a person comes in the store, they see that smile. And it makes them smile. If somebody smiles at you, you smile back. You don't even think about it. And a person who is happy, and they go into the store, will buy more things. They'll spend more time in there because they'll think, oh, this is a happy place. Look at all the pretty things in here. And they'll buy more things. They will. So, right? Smile. What can your smile do to encourage somebody? Give them courage for the day. Your mama. Hi, mama. When you get up in the morning, oh, give your mama a hug. Your daddy a hug. Whoever the big people are, give them a hug. Say, I love you. And then if they if they go off to work for the day, you know what? They left the house with a big hug and remembering that someone said, I love you, Mommy. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Grammy, whoever it is, right? Your big person that helps you with your schoolwork, don't forget to say thank you. I love you every day because then they're going to want to help you. By you helping them have it by encouragement, okay? We can all do that. That doesn't cost any money, and it's not even hard. It's not like you go out and sweat. Oh, man, whew. I told my mama hi today. I smiled today and said, I love you, mom. Boy, man, I worked hard. <gasps> I'm tired. I need, I need a Coke. No, anybody can do it, right? Hmm? Hi, I love you. Mm -hmm. Obvious dad. You know what? When I see Avi's dad, when we say bye, you know what Avi's dad and I always say? Love you. Or when we see each other, oh, I love you. Is, does that mean I'm in love with him? No. That means I love him as a friend. Right? We're good friends. Right? Mm -hmm. We need to have lots of friends like that. Too, right? And that's why sometimes when you come to church, what do I do? I'll give you a big hug. Right? And a smile. Does that encourage you? I hope it does. We can all do that. Right? We don't have, uh, the time's almost up, but, so let's go over our verse one time, okay? Loyalty. Let's say it together. Stand up, please. Ecclesiastes 4, 9. Two, 
are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. You can be somebody else's number two and give them a smile and make their day, right? Especially the person that's trying to help you with your score. Have a great day. See you later.